Hey Leos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. What's going on with you? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Leo, Sun Moon Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Leo, what's going on with you? What do Leos need to hear and know? What do they need to hear and know right now? Mm, the chariot. The chariot is here. Cancer energy. <laughs> cancer energy, cancerian energy. So some of you, you have that in your chart. You could be dealing with the cancer. Chariots, some movement. Movement is happening. Queen of Cups. Ooh. Yeah, some of you dealing with the water sign. It could be a cancer in particular for some of you. Or you could have this person on your mind. It could be a Scorpio or a Pisces as well. Three of Cups. What is happening? Some of you could be getting ready to go out. Maybe you're going to like a wedding or a celebration. Some of you could be having a good time with friends. This could be like a party, birthday party, something like that. In the U.S., we are coming into the holiday time. It is now October. So the fall season, I'm looking at the pumpkins right here and... It looks like some other type of pumpkin or fruit in the back. So I feel like there's celebration happening, okay? Some of you could just be having fun with friends. You could be getting ready to celebrate something as well. I also feel like with your love life, someone could be very focused on you right now, okay? Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, Okay, now others of you, I don't know if you have been feeling this lately, but some of you may feel like while everyone else is having a good time, maybe you're very focused sitting here as the Queen of Cups. You could be very focused on your goals or focused on what you need to get done this month. There could be something going on in the month of October where you're very focused or you need to be focused. Okay, let's see the chariot. Show me. Capricorn's energy, the devil energy is here. Okay. The star card. Whoa. Okay. Lots of major arcana coming out. Aquarius is here. And you, the queen of wands. For some of you, this could be a same-sex connection with the two queens. Okay. Male or female doesn't matter. But for others of you, I feel like there's a dream that you could be chasing. There's something that you could be chasing right now, okay? And I feel like you are developing yourself. You're growing. A lot of you are growing in how you're thinking or how you're feeling about certain things. Some of you could be separating yourself from friends or family right now, okay? Now, in your love life, there could be someone who's heavily, heavily thinking about you, okay? But... I don't know if you're thinking about this person the way they're thinking about you. Could be a Capricorn, a Cancer, or an Aquarius that you're dealing with in particular. Let's see. Devil energy with the star. What is that? King of Cups. Now we have King and Queen of Cups. Wow. Look at that. Okay. Water sign energy coming through. Judgment is here. Okay. With the Three of Pentacles. What is this? What is this? Okay. So here we have three people, King and Queen of Cups with you in the middle. Okay. We also have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. When we start seeing threes, there could be a third party involved in some type of way. Okay. Someone could want to get something back with you, going back to you, coming back to you. Okay, with the energy of judgment, this person wants to come back, but there could be an issue or a problem with this person returning back to your life. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords. Yeah, see, someone may fear that you have moved on. This brings this person anxiety. They could be up late thinking about this a lot with the energy of the Nine of Swords. Queen of Cups, show me. Knight of Wands, yeah, someone's coming in chasing here. But see, I feel like you're distancing yourself. There's that energy again, Eight of Cups. 
some of you are just too busy right now. Knight of Wands with the Eight of Cups. Some of you, it's like you could be traveling a lot or you could be uh, getting ready to plan a trip. Thinking about traveling. Some of you could be in the process of moving or you just have a lot to do. You may not even be focused on this person. Someone could be chasing after you, okay? Someone could also be wondering, like, why do you stay away so much? Maybe they don't, they don't feel connected to you emotionally. We still have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone is stuck thinking about you. And I feel like they, it's like they can't call you or they can't see you. I'm feeling that energy coming through. So some of you, I don't know if you're connecting with this person at all or if they're blocked in a in some type of way from calling you or texting you, but someone is wanting to see you or be around you. Eight of Cups, show me. Four of Cups, yeah. Justice, Libra's energy. I just feel like you are not taking someone's offer. With the energy of the Four of Cups, you see the offer, but you're not reaching out for the cup. You're not reaching out for it. Justice is here. You may feel like this is the right thing for you to do. Who is this person? Who is this person? Ace of Wands, someone you could have had sex with or had a passionate relationship with at one point. Five of Swords, there could have been game playing with this person. Six of Cups, but now this person is remembering you. High Priestess, secretly, they remember you secretly. It could be a Pisces or someone with that in their chart, but someone is remembering you, but in secret. So you may not know how much this person is really longing or like wanting to be with you. Some of you could be at a distance from this person or emotionally distant is what I'm feeling the most. Three of Cups, show me for Leo, Three of Cups. The Moon. Ace of Cups, the hard font, yeah. This person may be hoping to return. I feel like the two of you, you may be separated in some type of way. You could be dating new people as well, Leo. You could be interested in other people. Some of you may be interested in an open relationship as well, which I don't really believe in open relationships because I just think that that's not a relationship. It's just open. <laughs> it's just people dating, you know. I don't really count that as a relationship if it's open, so to speak. But for for those of you who believe in that, I feel like some of some of you may believe in that. You may not feel like you need to be tied to one person. That's some of you. I am getting that energy. But this person, they could be thinking about having a relationship with you while you're thinking about dating other people, Three of Cups. But they're thinking about the Ace of Cups and the Harfont energy, Taurus's energy. How's Leo thinking and feeling about ooh, this person? The cards just shout out. Hold on. Okay. What? Okay. What do we have? <laughs> Four of Pentacles in reverse. Shout out on the floor. King of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. So this tells me with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, you're not holding on to this person. King of Wands taking action to Five of Pentacles, this situation, meaning leaving this person out in the cold. How is Leo feeling about this person? Two fell out. Temperance with the Four of Swords. Yeah. you're just, A lot of you, you're just taking your time. A lot of you are healing with the energy of Temperance, Four of Swords. Some of you are healing, taking your time to be by yourself, be alone. So if you're healing from this person... What happened in the past? Whoa, Knight of Cups flipped out in reverse. Okay, so it may have been a dating situation gone wrong. Mm, you could have rejected this person or they rejected you. Magician is here for some of you, a Gemini. What happened with this person and Leo? Knight of Swords. Ooh. 
someone was moving way too fast. Someone could have even said something that turned you off or that put you off. When you get the Knight of Swords, Two of Cups is here with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone wanted to move fast and the other person wanted to take things slower. There was the offer here with the Knight of Cups, but with it being in reverse, it's like, no, the offer was turned down. Somebody was turned down here. What is this person's intentions now for Leo? Their intentions for Leo? Ace of Pentacles. Whoa. They also have the Ace of Cups here. Ten of Cups with the Ace of Swords. All these Aces coming out. This person is definitely feeling you. Leo, what do they want to say? Because this is like emotional happiness, fulfillment. This is It's like you're everything this person has wanted. What do they want to say to Leo? Page of Cups. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. So there could be an apology and I'm sorry. You know, forgive me. Let's work on this with the Eight of Pentacles. Page of Cups is the apology. They could want to work on this and focus on it. They want to fix things with you. It could be a fellow Leo for some of you. Strength card is here. They want to fix this. They want to work on something with you. Six of Pentacles. They want equal give and take. Nine of Pentacles. They could even want to buy you things or spoil you. Do nice things for you. Buy you things. They could come in with more money, financially stable, okay? This could be a Scorpio for some of you. The tower is here. Yeah, see, in the past, something blew up here. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Could have, been, uh, could have been a Virgo. Some of you are dealing with an Earth sign. Strong Scorpio coming through again, Death card. For a lot of you... You could have been waiting on this person to end something or they were waiting on you to end something so they could be with you. Vice versa, put the characters where they go. Yeah. Some of you in the past, you could have waited for this person to commit. With the hermit, you could have waited for this person and a lot of time went by and you were like, okay, I'm done. You could have ghosted this person. You could have like exited very abruptly from this person's life because they were taking their time or they couldn't make up their mind. Anything else Leo would need to hear or know? You're an empress. Look at that. The empress fell out. You're an empress. So that tells me you may be above this person. You may be above their pay grade, honey. Honey, six of wands. You may need to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Will of Fortune. Uh-uh. It's your decision. Two of Swords. Spirit is saying it's up to you. But Spirit is also giving you the advice. You're an Empress. Six of Wands with the Will of Fortune. Move on. For a lot of you, you know, I don't bullshit on my readings. Move on with your life. This is what Spirit is showing you. Of course, it's always up to you to decide. What do Leos need to hear and know about this situation? Moving, yeah. And I believe I already said that. Some of you could be moving, purchasing a new home. Also moving, meaning moving on with your life. Honeymoon, yeah. Some of you could be traveling. I mentioned that as well. I'm looking at that airplane. You could be moving into a honeymoon phase with someone. Okay? Some of you may be dating and getting to know somebody new. While someone else is still hoping. Someone else is here still hoping, okay? It could be an air sign um, that you're getting ready to meet. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you going through a divorce or some of you just split with someone. It says experiencing a breakup. Some of you are completely separating yourselves from somebody. One more. And the answer is yes. If you need a confirmation, some of you need a confirmation about a divorce. Should I get a divorce? Should I separate from this person? The answer is yes. Okay. Wow. Advice for Leo. 
advice, divine spirit, Holy Spirit for Leo's this week. Sanctuary. Yeah. You need a place of peace, Leo. Anywhere you can find a place of peace. So if this situation has been stressful, dramatic, and I said at the beginning, I felt like a lot of you were kind of like separating yourselves, maybe from family or a difficult family situation or living situation. Some of you need to move. You need to move. It says, take time out from the world. Spend spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. So some of you book a class, you know, book something where you can get away you know, go paint, go relax, go smoke, go chill, whatever you need to do to find that place of sanctuary. Some of you, you know, get more religious, get more, you know, more spiritual, whatever you need to do to find that place of peace. That's what you need to be doing. Okay. Sanctuary is your car for this week. Alrighty, Leos. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If this reading resonated with you, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Alrighty, you guys, take care. Bye.